the church the church has been there for ever since like the beginning because it's really close to New York. So they had you know, they would just go up and it was called what was it called? Northern Northern Canada or something like that. I don't remember, but so they, they would send English speakers up there to, to make converts. Actually, interesting fact, Provo is a French word. And it was originally spelled P R O V O S T. And uh but it's pronounced Provo. And uh so in Quebec or in Quebec, there's a bunch of provos all over the place. Like people, their last name is Provo, and so you know, I learned that when I was there. I learned that that the settlers of Provo were French, and they're most likely from Canada. But the the church has been there for a while. I don't think I remember reading on my missionary website. Um, that they had never called like specifically French missionaries until I think it was like the 70s and so they, they had like English missionaries that would learn French and would would talk to the French people but they never called like specifically French speaking missionaries until like the 70s and so coming from that like you know, they already have, they have now four stakes up there that are like totally French stakes, which are, would, uh, is it four? I should probably check my facts before I, <laughs> before I say something wrong. They have that stake, and then they have that stake. Then they have the English stake, I think. Okay, yeah, so they only have two stakes. Yeah. So they have, they have, um, two stakes now and so like in the span of however many years that was it seemed when I read it it seemed like it, it had been only 30 years and they already have two stakes which was really cool but um, anyways that's the church history there 